Uh, yes, coming from a small nation, small of course, so they cherish everything, you know. Uh, you make a final, they cherish it, and the small things are kind of like history, you know. It's a small move, big history. Uh, this year has been very rough, you know, starting off with the uh, hurricane. Um, that was one of the most devastating hurricanes of all time. And with my family being lost in the hurricane, I didn't have work from them for four days. And I had training to, to go through. Doha is coming up, the world champs. And I, I wanted to just do my best. But also at the time, my family, they're on my mind. And it was very hard for me to train at the time. So. My coach, he would come to my house and take me out just to get me out of the house because I was in training and I was just sitting home, just wondering what, what they're doing and if they're all right. It's on a Thursday, um, I was just at home, laying down in bed, and I saw a strange number called my phone. And in the US, it's normally like a scam or something, but I answered anyway, and it's my dad. He called me on a satellite phone that he borrowed from someone, but we talked for like 10 seconds and then he said that, hey, we're all right, don't worry about us. We're gonna get out of here, and then the phone just shut off. Ah, uh, yes, most definitely. Once I heard his voice and I heard that he said that they were okay, it was a major sign of relief, and I just quickly ran back into training to catch up where I've been missing. Uh, my victory, it meant a lot to everybody because there was a time when the country was down and the gold medal just brought everybody joy, and I'm just happy to see that I was the one to like make everybody feel much better about everything that happened. And yeah, it was just a really amazing time for everybody. Uh, when I crossed the line, it was a sign of relief that it's over. I, I did what I had to do. My country has now received the gold medal. And my family, I know they're proud of me and they're happy. And that's all they wanted to do. Um, before I went to Doha, during the rounds actually, my sister, she was in Florida at the time. Um, she sent me like text messages from her friends saying, hey, let's do this. And they're so proud of me and just want me to go out there and win. And I came out there and I did that. And everybody was like so excited. And the messages I received, they were pure love. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going back to Bahamas. <laughs> we just had a, a celebration, of course. Um, Hang around, went to the beach, ate some good food, um, visited a lot of businesses and schools, the younger kids, and just had a good time. Uh, yes, coming from a small nation, it's small, of course, so they cherish everything, you know. Uh, you make a final, they cherish it, and the small things are kind of like history, you know. It's a small move, big history. Uh, yeah, when I went back, um, I didn't go home to my home island because it was in the whole country affected. It was two of the islands, but my island where I'm from it was affected, but I didn't get to go there as yet, but I will go before this year's finish. I'm gonna go there and see how things are going. Uh, they're fine. Um, majority of my family is in Florida, but my dad, uh, he's on the island, like working on the house.